I read over both statements you sent. Where would be most useful for you to jump off? Do you have any questions about either one? Um, I guess my personal statement. Um, did you like get what I was trying to say? Like, did was it there? Um, because I felt like it was such a new experience for me to write that a personal statement because I never read anything like that. And it was like, how am I showing instead of telling? Am I like really? Um, do, are people gonna understand what I was trying to say and what? What, what do I come off as showing in the, in the actual personal statement? Sure, yeah. I think you actually did a better job than most statements I read, to be honest. I think that <laughs> you, you kept it very real. You were focused on telling the story and including lots of details. Like, you really brought us to that moment in time. Exactly. And you did the same for the diversity statement, by the way, which was really nice to see. So I think you're definitely on the right track with both of these. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, I really wanted people to... Um, feel like they were there and kind of understanding what I was going through that moment because um, it, it, those, those two moments were very big moments in my life where, you know, I had to do something or I realized that, that I was different, you know, th all the different things that were going on that I feel like um, if people can understand that, then they'll get me, you know, they'll get the whole idea. Right, right. So I loved almost all of the personal statement. I think the one area where it went a little bit off to me was when you suddenly th threw in talking about like the reading program. I think the reading program is, is a great work to be involved in, mm -hmm. but to me, it didn't seem quite closely tied enough to the other okay. topics covered in the statement itself. All right. Yeah. I was trying to, that's what I was trying to, I was trying to like tie it together kind of in a way. Um, I'm sure there's more of a way I could get it like stronger and like so people actually get what I was trying to do, but yeah, it was just a way for me to like, because a lot of people were actually saying like in that bottom part of the personal statement that it should be more kind of like you selling yourself to the law schools. So I was like, is there, can you give me any like tips on that? Like, what could I say? And like, how can I incorporate that? Because I really don't think I did that much in that part anyway. Yeah. So I, at the, you're right that at the end of, the, of your personal statement, it is good if you can to relate it back to why law school, or at least you mm -hmm. want somewhere in your application to tell the story of, well, why law school? Why now? Why does this person need to go to law school to yeah. achieve their goals? And so to me, I mean, given the topic of your personal statement, you know, with housing law and housing rights and things yeah. of that nature, and obviously New York City is a very pro-tenant city yeah, and the regulations are there to help you, but you also have to know to ask for help. And you have to know that there are services available and people who can help you. And you went out and you found that help. And I think that if you wanted to say, I want to advocate for those who are disadvantaged, or I want to advocate for those who don't know where to go or where to turn for help, I can help them. That to me is a very clear connection. And obviously you don't have to practice your housing rights law specifically or tenants rights specifically, but the idea of being an advocate, I think it's already within the story you were telling throughout your personal statement. Exactly. That, that, that's literally what I was trying to say. So yeah, no, I really like that. Um, I'll see if I can find a way to um, incorporate that. Like, like I, I try to like say like, yeah, I want to advocate for people, but I'm sure there's like a better way I can show, like connect it in a way that people are like, oh, wow, like it's like a full circle type thing. That's what I was trying to do. I kind of want to do that so that they, they read it and they're like, wow, like I totally understood what she was saying. And you could see the, the clear circle that I'm trying to write. Exactly. So I think you have the makings of it. I think the topics are there and what, we just, what we've discussed, I think will give you a jumping off point for that. Oh, yeah, but as, for the, no as for the literacy program, I would keep that on the resume or talk about it elsewhere if you have the space, okay, but yeah. I don't think you need to throw it into the statement here. No, yeah, perfect. Yeah. That, I was just trying, like, I was just trying to see, um, I've been going off on it for like a couple months. So I really didn't get a lot of help. Um, I, I actually, my school did like a little boot camp for personal statement. So that's where I kind of got the idea going. Um, so that's what I started it. But yeah, I was just, I'm so happy that you gave a chance so you could read it for me. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. My pleasure. But otherwise, I, I think it's fantastic. And as for the diversity statement, I'm just going to pull it up here. I also thought that was great. Like I said, I think that you also were very direct and in showing rather than telling. You were telling stories. You started off with an anecdote. I think that was great. The only suggestion I would say is really just 
more more surface level editing in terms of making it more concise. The, the topic yeah. and the content is fantastic, but all good writing is made better if it's shorter. If you could tell the same story in fewer words yeah, and get exactly. to the point faster and cut out any unnecessary words, even word by word, line by line, I think that'll make it a stronger piece of writing. But overall, I think it's fantastic. And I can tell you've done a lot of work on this already and it, it shows it's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I was trying to, it, it, honestly, it just came out of me. I don't know where I was just, um, I was just like, I, forgot, I think I was studying for the LSAT and all of a sudden it was just like, boop, like you should write about this. And I was like, oh my God, this idea, I had to like write it down on like index card. And I was like, I wanted to show how um, my past experiences um, will, will be able to help me in law school. Like how not, not fitting in, not feeling like I was part of something, uh, not feeling like I left my hair, you know, like all these different things that um, are very unique to me, how they'll help me when I'm in law school, when I'm a lawyer, when I'm dealing with people. So I was trying to show that connection and I'm glad that you can see that. Um, but like, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure like there's a lot of ways that I could improve it um, just so it could flow nicely and be consistent. That's, that's what I want when, when I want the admissions to read it. I want them to be like, yeah, amazing. I understand what she's saying. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm working on it, definitely. Thank you so much. Great. Do you have any particular questions about either statement or any sentences or any sections that you want to look at a little bit more closely? The point of the diversity statement, right, is just to, like I said, to show how I bring diversity to school. So should I, like, say that? Or, or, or like, this is how I can bring diversity to your schools and stuff like that. Or is it much better just, like, just to show it, yeah, basically. Better to show it, exactly. Better so to you, show it, yeah. And I think your diversity statement is showing that, especially the idea of feeling like you're outside the norm or feeling like, like other people don't get you or that you're ostracized in some way for looking different or being different. And so that you could relate to others who you would advocate for who are, again, outside the system. I think that's a, a good theme that you have going across both of these, but that there is help available that you've benefited from. And now going forward, you can be the one to help others. Oh, no, yeah. All right, that's great. Okay, <laughs> that's the only question I had. Um, I also wanted to, like, I already asked you about just my personal statement. Um, more like me showing how I would advocate for somebody. Would I, could I include like different things about me, like stuff that I, like, cause what I was trying to do is like include what I did in college. That's why I introduced the literacy. But do you think it's better if I just leave it out and just talk about more how I could advocate for people and just leave it on the resume? Or can I incorporate or? Because they usually only have it like two pages, right? Like I shouldn't go more than, than two pages. Right. So you, you typically want to keep the personal statement to two pages, double spaced. If you want to mention the literacy program very briefly uh -huh. in just a, a sentence or a couple of words, that's fine. But also trust that they will read your resume and they will see more details on those programs there. Thank you. Thank you so much. I actually have a quick question about the resume. I know I didn't send it to you. Um, That's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, so with the resume, do I include stuff that I did in college? Like like all the clubs I was in, all the, that's, that's what I include, right? Because I know it's different from like a work resume. So I was having a little trouble with like what to include and how much to include. What yeah, exactly? Yeah, sure. So you, um, want to, you want to be one page so limited to one page i know it's okay, really that's hard because it's but hard because i did so much stuff so i was like i want to be able to condense it but still have them kind of get every single thing i did like get the like gist of it like know exactly what i need yeah so as you said yes extracurriculars include those academics include that it is an academic resume not a work resume which means that it's a little bit more detailed mm -hmm. and of course academics are first and foremost but you do all have to, at the same time, limit it to one page, which is really hard. So you could start off by including everything and then edit it bit by yes. bit, chop it down bit by bit, just like I recommended with your statements. No, chop it down crazy. so that every word really counts and there are no unnecessary details. And that involves even like if a sentence is running over into a second line, just find the little words you can chop can, out to make it go <laughs> up one line. Oh, okay. That's great. Um, so actually, um, somebody told me an idea of like including my LinkedIn in the actual resume. So if they want more information, they could just check it out. Um, you think that's a good idea? 
I think it's fine. Yeah, if you wanted to include it in the header, I, the think header, that would be, yeah. I think that would be okay. Don't assume they're going to go out yeah. and look at your LinkedIn. <laughs> but yeah, if you feel the need, you could put it there. It's because because I wrote it already and like I feel like I've done so much stuff that like one or two bullets of what I did doesn't really capture what I did. So I was like, maybe I could include it. And if they like, I'm not going to say it, obviously they're going to go out their way to <laughs> go on it. But if they do, they, they kind of get a little more idea of what I did. And I can include like pictures and like, you know, all the, all the stuff that I've done. I feel like that would give them just an extra little, you know, peek into my world and everything. Yeah, for sure. All right, all right, see. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. I got a lot to think about. I want to thank you so much. My pleasure. Before we sign off, what would you say is the biggest insight you got from our call today? Um, definitely, uh, I love the idea that you told me about just writing everything and then just condensing it, just like making sure that every word counts. I really like that. Um, so thank you so much for that. Like, I feel like that's, that's um, something that could be super useful and I'm going to try it right now <laughs> once I'm done with this. Um, I really... Thank you for your help on the personal statement too. I feel like um, I'm glad that you got what I was trying to say, but I'm definitely going to follow your advice and just um, cut out what I need and keep it concise. And I want people to get it. You know, I want people to, to read it and know me and now see me just like as a number, you know, they'll be they're like, wow, this is a person. And I'm like, that's exactly what I want. Awesome. Great. Well, keep in touch. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Yes. Thank you so much, Steve. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.